So I've stitched together my panels, well, my quilt pieces for around the panel that I have. Um, these are going down the sides. And then I decided I, I wanted to frame the panel, um, but not only that, I kind of need to because I need a little bit of extra uh, space to get things kind of lined up. So in order to make things kind of line up better, um, I'm going to be adding in um, a bit of a frame around the panel, the unicorn panel. but. I decided to not use this pink shiny fabric because I really want to use it for the binding but I've also used it for this diagonal pattern that's presented here and um, I thought if I used it as a frame around the panel for the unicorn that it would just kind of blur together so I went and looked into my stash to see what I had for fabric and I ended up 
finding a fabric of similar colors, um, which I'm sure anybody who has fabric knows you kind of collect fabrics over the years and as best as I do try to use what I have to not have too much on hand um, I don't always get around to using up the fabric the way I wanted to or getting to the project or sometimes I just have extra fabric um, so interesting enough this fabric was bought gosh probably five or six years ago I believe and I was going to make a sheet out of it but then I decided um, well not so much I decided it's more I just got busy you know I had a, a newborn I was in school full-time um, let me see when she was a baby I was not working at the time I was doing some freelance work but, um, yeah, oh, and then we also were renovating our house, so we just, well, I just feel like I didn't have the time and, um, to make a sheet, especially when I also had other sheets to use. It just wasn't high priority. Um, so, since I already was going to use this, um, on a bed. It's kind of fitting that it's just going on a different part of the bed. It's going on a quilt rather than under the bottom. It's a sheet. It's a pretty thin material too, so I'm kind of glad I never got to using it. Um, and I have a lot of it too. Um, anyways, so it's kind of the long story about how I had this fabric. You know, you remember your projects you don't quite get to or you abandon or works in progress and all of that. So anyways, I decided that this fabric went well with, you know, this light uh, turquoise blue that's going on here. Um, it's also funky, you know, because it's stripes and white. And <laughs> not stripes and white, because it is stripes, the turquoise blue with the white. Um, you know, it's it's funky, and my daughter's funky in a good way. You know, she loves colors, and so I thought it just, it would look really cute. So, I can show you what I plan to do with it. Um, these are my sides. Side. So I got this very nice panel here. this there's this side panel that actually um, is going to extend to let me think I think it's about here that it will extend to about so um, I'll have to measure it out and you'll see how that goes and then <laughs> I'm going to block this off like this. So I think it'll be cute. I think what I'm also going to do is add like a strip here of fabric going down that side as well. So I think that'll be cute. I think she'll enjoy that a lot. Um, especially because it's not a fabric that she knows of yet. You know, hard sometimes to keep your kids out of your sewing room. But, uh, I like it. And we'll, we'll see how it looks together. And, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. <laughs> so, I'm excited for it. So, anyways, now, next step that I'm going to do is, uh, kind of cut off these selvage ends here so that I can get an accurate measurement. Um, let's see, do I need to cut off this side? I should, 
I don't think I'm going to cut off this side, these sides, just here, and then, um, let's see. Yeah, I could probably even extend it a little lower, but just so I have uh, accurate measurements, like I said, and then um, I need to measure what my side panels are like with this and what my bottom and top are like in comparison to the side panels and just kind of how everything's lining up um, to see just how much of a border I need around the main panel to help frame everything else so that it's all kind of even. So that is what I will be doing. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell, leave a comment, and even check me out online at justincompany.com.